Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the part 2 Here we have it I've got the the tiny bit excess here where you know that mold was a bit uh, wider diameter so I cut that so it's the same diameter as the wood I've marked the centers so we could put it between center make a tenon I did it in two parts because on part one someone who already knows how to turn a goblet it's enough for them to uh, stop there and do their own project make, an, make the same one but for others who want to just watch and see how this turns out they can come and uh, watch it on the part two so as to save time on people who just want to see how to get to this point and turn it themselves so let's get started make a tenon and then we put it on the chuck and get this screwed up and then hollow the inside
Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to now wet sand the inside and then we'll carry on with the outside until we get to the resin part. Then we'll sand the outside of this so we won't be touching it anymore. Then we carry on with the stem. I'll do the sanding off camera. It's a long process going through the grids. Uh, so yeah.
So guys, as you can see, I've sanded and polished the, the whole thing. <clears throat> I couldn't um, shape it more than this because it's so hard to shape it once uh, it's easy to chip. As you saw, that chip here, which I got rid of, made me... Uh, forced me to change design and possibly pushed me to make it thinner more <laughs> than I would have dared to do because those who worked with resin it's really easy to just snap this and even when I'm gonna part it now it has a chance to snap because it's it's so wobbly so See the movement there. That ball I had still won't uh, do much. I saw it and it was going out of true and it would even make it worse, make it snap when I'm parting it off. So watch out if, if, you, if you see that happening where with the ball it's going, going off center. When you part it, it's going to be even worse, more pressure going to be on there, on there. So it'd be better to have it uh, released and just hold down, hold down to there. Gonna have my face shield. go <laughs> thank you sir so I can get that I can get that with the with the chisel sharp chisel and it's smooth enough where I can wet sand this and we're done that was nerve-wracking <laughs> to say the least I'll be back once I'm done with the base there we have it I've engraved the bottom as well with my logo. I wish, I wish I made uh, poured in, um, I mean hollowed bigger. But as you saw, the piece I chose had a tiny bit left on the uh, outside, so I really couldn't have made it any bigger. Maybe a bit deeper. But then, what shape would I made? Like a champagne shape? Maybe I could have done. Yeah, this was an experiment, uh, first one, just to see 
if I could do it, which I definitely uh, can, as you can see. And I love these pine cones textures on the bottom. And the prelex does give a nice shine. It just looks like ocean and yeah. Micro prill, uh, you can see as well, it gives a good texture to blue. And those yellow, the yellow uh, we used, some of it got mixed with the uh, blue and turned into green. <laughs> so that's nice. Because you saw I didn't mix any green and it's just a uh, uh, brilliant gold as you can see here some of it got mixed with the blue and turned into a green I guess it's still all right for uh, wine or whiskey something like that where you have small quantity yeah thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit the like button it it really helps to to get people uh, to notice the video and uh, watch it. I appreciate all of you who have been supporting me by watching the videos, commenting. Uh, I appreciate it. I try to answer all of them. When I upload, I'm usually there for uh, an hour or two, and I immediately answer. So. If you want to have a conversation that's a good time to do it thank you all for watching i'll talk to you on the next video bye